Welcome, Dr. Tochi, here with today's class on a little simple ritual you can do to help calm down a hostile work environment. One of the things that has uh, come up in consultations with folk and also in comments, I see that in the comment section, is that people are struggling with hostile, hostile work environments. And I have certainly worked in a number of hostile work environments. And you know, you wonder, what can I do to calm the situation? And this is especially important if you like the job and you don't want to leave the job, but you have coworkers or managers, supervisors, even subordinates who are so involved in drama that they're not letting you enjoy that work environment and to put out your best. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's class, okay? And we're going to uh, discuss in this ritual some little tidbits that make it forbidden fruit because what we're going to talk about in today's ritual, not every spiritual practitioner will tell you, okay? So as usual, you know what to do. Get the pen, get the notebook, get the drink, get the snack, and let's take it away, okay? So while you're getting your materials together, a little bit of housekeeping as usual. For those of you who are subscribers, thank you so much for being part of my spiritual family. For those of you who are paying members, a double thank you to you for supporting the content that I put out here. I cannot do this without you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If I've not thanked you before, please accept my thanks. If you would like to uh, have me do your divination, your consultations, your spiritual practice coaching, dream interpretation, Reiki sessions, and more, please go to my website at tochi.us. I do not do transactions outside of my website. Beware of scammers. There are people out there using the Dr. Tochi name to promote their page, their channel, and whatnot. But if you notice, a lot of them are no longer putting up my pictures because I think uh, the different platforms are being hard on them now. So they just use my name and they take some pictures from my website or from my page to make it seem as if it's me. But y'all know that that's not me. A lot of these scam uh, places will ask you to call uh, a 234 number or a 91 number. Some of them pretend to have U.S. numbers. Scam, scam, scam. Just go to my website if you need products and services, okay? And my products and services are designed to help your spiritual lifestyle, okay? Regardless of what you believe in or what you're practicing. Okay, so let's get into today's class. <laughs> Okay, so like we were saying earlier, a, a number of people are laboring under a very um, hostile work environment. So it's not like just one person doesn't like you. Sometimes it's like it's as if everybody in there just does not like you or they're working against you. They don't want you to succeed. They're blocking your promotion. They're just causing a lot of trouble. Or sometimes people spend so much time gossiping about you, being nosy. They want to know your private bidnet. You know what I'm saying, okay? And you don't want any of that. You just want to go to work, do what you're paid to do, and be up out of there. Now, this ritual is not going to work if you too are involved in drama, you cause drama, you gossip about other people in the workplace, you make trouble for other people in the workplace. If you are the source of the hostile environment at work, I'm going to tell you up front, if you do this ritual, it will backfire on you because I know there are some people who think it's everybody else, but not them. It's them, but it's never you, okay? So you have to be uh, very sincere, very authentic with yourself. You know how I say it, put your authentic self on the table, okay? If you are the one who's carrying stories, if you're the one who's trading stories, if you're the one who's always complaining about your coworkers, your managers, your supervisors, your subordinates, if you're the other one who, uh, if you are the one who's always nitpicking, this ritual is not for you. You can do this ritual any day of 
the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You can do it January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. You can do this any phase of the moon. Uh, some people have said that they get better uh, results when the moon is waning. That is between the full moon and the new moon when the moon is getting smaller. But I have tried it out myself and it works quite well when the moon is waxing. Okay, you can do this ritual regardless of your gender, your color, your economic or social background, whether you have a monthly flow or not. Okay, I hope I've covered all the bases. Now for this ritual, we're going to need water. Okay, we're going to need uh, an essential oil or cologne, you know, the colognes used for spiritual work. Okay, we're going to need either white salt, okay, white sea salt, not, not the stripped down salt, but real salt. You can use Himalayan salt, um, but it has to be real salt, okay, like natural salt. In lieu of salt, you can also use the white chalk. If you go to my website, you'll see an example of what that chalk looks like. It's it's not edible. It's even though it's not toxic, but it's not edible. Okay, and that uh, and the chalk is usually gotten from uh, water sources. Okay, then you're going to need two candles, a black and a white candle, and you're going to need a lighter or some matches because I know somebody's going to say, "How am I going to light the candle?" You never said we need uh, matches or a lighter or a source of fire. Okay. If I have to tell you to use a lighter, okay, maybe I shouldn't. Just call down fire from heaven. Like, um, <laughs> wasn't there some prophet in the Christian Bible that called down fire from heaven? If you have those kind of powers, please call down fire from heaven to light your two candles for you. Okay, then we're going to need a mason jar. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly a mason jar. If you don't have it, here are examples of mason jars. You can see that these have lids, okay? So this is a little one that has a lid. Um, you get the size that you want that will contain the amount of water that you you need okay if you can't find those you can find something like this just make sure the top is protected because you're going to put the candles on top of it okay so you don't want to start a fire okay uh dear ones please do not get a bucket with a lid because somebody's going to say oh my whole work environment is contaminated i need buckets of water i need a big oil drum of water Good luck with that. So you want to get something that's small enough, that will have small enough water so that when you finally dispense this water, everywhere is not going to be waterlogged. People are not going to come by and say, what happened here? Did the sprinkler go off or did it rain in here? Okay, because when we do these kind of rituals, especially in workplaces, we need to be discreet. We need to be mindful. There are a number of workplaces that have cameras. So if there's a camera in your workplace, you may be, you know, limited in how you can execute this. I will leave it up to you to figure that out. But make sure you're not breaking any workplace rules, especially on camera. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is to prepare the water. So we will get the water, the amount of water that we need, and we will put that into our container. Okay, so let's say you have something like this. I would recommend getting water, like just one third of this, okay? Or maybe half of that. Then the other thing you're going to do is to add the essential oil. Um, I recommend lavender or sage. Or you can even combine the two. Now, if you don't want to use essential oil, you can use Florida water. You can use 4711 cologne. Florida water is actually considered a cologne, even though it's called Florida water, but it's actually a cologne. So you can uh, put that. You can put, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can put um, Florida water. Rose water, that's another kind of water you can put in there, okay, inside the water. So 
the rose water or the Florida water or the 4711 are not a replacement for the water. You're going to add a few drops, not too much to overpower the water, okay? Just a few drops. After you do that, then you will take one pinch, folks, one pinch, pinch of salt and put it in the water. Pinch of salt, not one spoon, not one cooking spoon. If you want to use the white chalk, Take a pinch of the white chalk. You can, if you have it in solid form, just grind enough for a pinch. If you want to know what the white chalk looks like, please go to my website at tochi.us. You will see examples of the white chalk there, okay? And then you're going to mix all of that together. Then you will go ahead and put the lid back on the jar. So you have your mixture in there, shake it up a little bit, and then you will take this to your sacred place, okay? It's your altar, your sacred place. Put the two candles on it, the white candle and the black candle, okay? I know someone's going to write and say, I put the two candles, but the candles wouldn't stay. They keep falling off. Folks, figure out how to make two candles stick to the top of the jar. What you need to do, melt a little wax from each, and they will stay. Okay. <laughs> Because I know someone's going to say, well, uh, Dr. Tonja, I put the two candles and they kept falling off. What should I do? Never mind. Then, when you put the two candles on here, okay, light them. And when you light them, start saying your prayers or your invocations, okay, over it. You want to start asking to have all the negative energies and people neutralized in your workplace. Again, folks, don't mention people's names. Do not go there and say, I want Brenda neutralized. I want Peter neutralized. Because you might be wrong about them. Okay? You might be wrong about them. So let your spiritual crew figure out who's doing what and start calming them down. Now, if you're doing this and you are a troublemaker, naturally, you're not going to mention yourself. Oh, Lord, calm me down and neutralize me. But your spiritual crew knows because if you go ahead and start doing that, they will neutralize you. If you want to know more about protection rituals, I do have one on my YouTube channel, Protection Ritual, and you, you will see me demonstrate that ritual with two candles or talk about the ritual with two candles, a black and a white candle. So, so this is a modification of that ritual, okay? So after you uh, do your invocations for neutralizing the negative energies, negative people, negative situation there, then you're going to start asking for calm. You want that environment to be calm for you, that whenever you come into that environment, that everything will calm down for you, okay? So once you're done with that, let the two candles burn down on the jar. Let them burn down on the jar. So I suggest you do this ritual. Hold on, it's like, am I sweating? <laughs> right. It's like I'm using so much energy just to do today's class, okay? So, anywho, yeah, it's, it, it's like I'm so full of energy today. <sighs> okay, get back to the class. All right, so once you're doing let the two candles burn down over the jar, okay? It's going to drip over it. That's okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that to your workplace. So when you get to the workplace, you're going to open the jar at the workplace. At the workplace. That's where you're going to open the jar. You may have to scrape away some of the wax in order to open the jar. Okay? And then you're going to sprinkle that water around where you work. Not where... Others are working in their cubicles or their space or their corner where you, you, yourself, where you work. So wherever it is that is where you work, that's where you're going to sprinkle it. I repeat, where you work, because I know someone's going to say, well, I don't think I need it. Let me go sprinkle it over on Brenda's chair and table. <laughs> okay. It's not going to work for you. Sprinkle it where you work, okay? Because of the nature of the invocation you made, 
all right? Make sure you use up all of the water. It becomes, so you can see why I said use a reasonable amount of water because you don't want to be, to douse your whole workplace where you sit down with so much water that someone's going to come in and say, what happened here? Did you just pee on yourself? Okay, we don't want that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's ritual class. Let me know how that works out for you in the comments section below this video. If you have enjoyed and learned something from today's class, let's have your hey, H-E-Y, in the comments below this video. And I'm going to select one lucky person who will get a surprise from me from the hey comments below this video. We are thankful to our creator, our guardian spirits, our ancestors, our spirit guides, and all those in the unseen realms who teach us wonderful ways to protect ourselves that previously only spiritual practitioners knew. Ashe.